what is up guys so today we're going to be talking about the nike ispa drifter gators and i'm going to tell you guys this has probably got one of the most coolest features on a sneaker that i've ever seen in my life so let's get it So what is up guys? So once again, welcome to the channel. This is Kiss Ball where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Nike Ispa Drifter Gators. This is probably gonna be one of the most, uh, you know, coolest, weirdest sneakers that I've ever had a, you know, a chance to actually review. And I can't actually wait to go and go through these with you because there's so much to talk about. So let's just get into it. First of all, I want to give a shout out to my homie Mark for uh, letting me borrow his uh, <laughs> his actual uh, you know his cut heart beanie because I look I, I don't have anything that matches this color of orange so I had to ask him for it and uh, yeah so shout out to him so let's get straight into it let's talk about this upper guys so as you can see it's got like a really tech wear feel to this actual sneaker you can see the kind of different materials different uh, type of sole used as well. Uh, it, it's so totally unique. It's so many aspects going into it. So uh, as you can see uh, from the upper, the upper I believe has, I think is made out of like water resistant materials. I'm not exactly sure which material it is, but I did test it out a little bit. And I'm telling you guys, uh, you, you can probably see here that the water was just like dripping off. And I, I felt it, it like it kind of made the um, actual toe box a little bit colder. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's like totally dry. So I do believe that this has um, very water repellent or water resistant materials, which is something I do really, really like. A lot of the different kind of aspects, as you can see, like where the loose, uh, where the laces are. As you can see from the eyelets here, they continue all the way around so it goes all the way around to the other side so that's a really cool aspect they're really rigid as well and uh how they're made so it's it's such a i've never seen that before that's why it's really interesting uh they have polka dot kind of uh see-through holes on the tongue well, what you need to realize as well is that the uh actual there's two kind of uppers on this one so there's like a booty construction for your foot like a sock that your foot goes into and then it's got the upper as you can see here because there's two kind of constructions so there's the inner booty and then here's the actual upper of the actual sneaker when you look at the actual heel tab as well um it's it's really exaggerated um as you can see there it's just like it's such a cool feature it's really shiny very eye-catching as well because a lot of people probably look at that straight away and look like what happened to the the rest of the sneaker kind of thing <laughs> but also uh there's all these uh panels of uh exposed kind of foam which give it like a really kind of rigid and uh yeah it's kind of a really cool unrefined look that's why i'm saying there's so many aspects of this actual sneaker it's totally unique and um i'm pretty sure this is just a normal standard foam that they have for the midsole as well there's not much um information given about it but probably the most and exciting uh feature of this actual sneaker is the shroud um that you can un kind of like unload so as you can see here there's this zipper that goes all the way around which looks like um it's like sealed it's like one of those sealed waterproof uh, zippers that they use as well because it really like covers it and stuff so i'll take it off now so when you unzip it there it reveals this folded uh shroud inside as you can see there and bang that's that's what it kind of looks like when it's unraveled uh over here like that <laughs> and that's what it looks like guys it's so cool it's such a unique sneaker uh yeah that's why it's got to be one of the coolest different sneakers i've ever seen in my life as you see there it's got ispa and it's got on the inside as you can see there i don't know if you guys can see it properly but that is the instructions on how to fold back the shroud or the netting to go back into the sneaker so they've done it sort of like an airplane instruction style uh, which is kind of cool as well and uh, yeah I, I just think it's so unique like whoever sees like you know well, when do you ever see like a sneaker design like this and uh, it's just totally cool, totally unique. And uh, it's something that really kind of excites me in terms of like innovation and design when it comes to sneakers. But in terms of like being waterproof, um, I probably, I'm not really sure because 
you know, the shroud just covers this area. It's not really a part of it. It's not really kind of like sealing it off. So if water goes in through here, it could probably, you know, go into the actual foot area as well and it'll end up getting you wet like your sock and your foot and stuff so in terms of waterproofing i don't know if it's the best like compared to something like like compared to something like these my nike acg antarctics where they're pretty much you know waterproof all the way up to the ankle uh yeah so it's it's you know you gotta pick and choose kind of thing because if you think about it because as once again the shroud only covers this part it's not really sealing it. It's just uh, probably all the water that comes down from your, the top here will just come down to this area. So that's how you're kind of protected. But if you're like, if you step in a, a puddle this deep, uh, the water is definitely going to get into your like from the inside of like, you know, of your actual shoe. <laughs> so anyway, getting back to the sneaker. So ISPA, if you guys don't know, it's sort of like I had to look them up because I wasn't really sure uh what it is who they were that kind of stuff so it's was sort of like one of the design teams uh that go through nike what you kind of uh that like don't really realize is that they do include all those like little aspects into this where it's like you know so improvising is like trying to make um sneakers that they have already have like better kind of thing uh scavenge is sort of like being able to uh use the best kind of um materials that they have already and uh, use it to solve a problem. Uh, protect is actually, uh, you know, obviously to protect the actual, um, the idea of actually, you know, protect against the problem. Is that what protect stands for? And uh, was it the last one is adapt. So adapt is basically saying to you know, adapt all the solutions to solve the problems or the you know to use this to the fullest of its potential i think that's sort of like what it means there's a whole like spiel about it and stuff because they're not just trying to create like normal products because obviously um nike products like these are designed first for athletes first because if it works for them obviously it's going to work a lot better for like the average everyday person so uh that's what they kind of kind of did with this one and i also what i forgot to say is that they have you know for the outsole here you can see there it's got really grippy outsole kind of uh, little panels here and everywhere. So it's really, yeah, it's, it looks like a sort of like a rock formation almost in a way, as you can see there with the ISPA on the side, sort of like a diamond in the ground kind of thing. That's why when I look at it, <laughs> that's what I could kind of see. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. Like uh, I really dig this uh, kind of a uh, sneaker. So in terms of sizing guys, so in terms of sizing, I would probably suggest that you uh, stay true to your normal size. I am a wide footer, nine and a half. This fits uh, you know, really good on me, but I probably have to say there is a little bit more room on the, you know, the top uh, toe box area. I think it's just like that because the toe box is a little bit more pointy. So there is just generally gotta be a little bit more space there. But if you do have a narrow like foot, like a skinnier foot, maybe think about half sizing down that's just my opinion but uh maybe just check it out yourself as well uh but the thing is like yeah this one is already kind of sold out on the nike website so definitely yeah like, if you want to get one of these you better get onto it real quick because uh you might have to have to end up having to pay resale for these so in terms of actually uh, like recommending this sneaker i would probably say that if you don't do a lot a lot of running or like movement and all that kind of stuff in water you know environments like with a lot of puddles and all that kind of stuff where it rains a lot probably this you don't really need this sneaker but if you like tech wear and you like you know getting protected against the elements or up to your everything below your kind of uh kneecap then this is a really great option to choose from it's very comfortable um and in terms of tech wear style and stuff like that this is definitely a huge vibe because there's nothing out there that has done there's no one else that's sort of like designed a tech wear sneaker like this it's like very unique it stands out a lot so if you're into tech wear definitely this is something that you can go for uh because yeah no one else like you know a lot of people in terms of like kind of tech wear tech shoes a lot of people tend to stick away from all the bright colors and stuff whereas this one it's just totally kind of just adapting to it and just making it its own and that's why i think you really stand out with a pair of these especially um maybe like a white tech wear suit and all that kind of stuff it just looks really cool uh but yeah wearing black it stands out even more so that's something to think about all right guys so that's pretty much the whole video what do you guys think about this nike 
ISPA Drifter Gator? Is it your style? Do you feeling it? You know, what other questions do you have on it? Please let me know in the comments below, but definitely something I think is a huge vibe, especially if you're into tech wear. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me that big thumbs up. If you like the content in general, or you want to see more of this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.